When I was a kid, as I've said, I was regarded as kind of stupid and um, made to stand in the corner or um, I was humiliated because I was so slow at learning. And I was just really bored with what they were trying to teach me. They were made, making me read, you know, from boring old books that I couldn't read properly because I was very dyslexic. And they were making me memorize stuff that I really wasn't interested in. And um, as a small child, I was taken on a few trips to very different places, most notably Morocco. And uh, I'm actually sitting right now in Fez. And I was brought here to Fez, and it was um, the most eye-opening, wonderful, miraculous, spontaneous culture and place, backdrop, that I'd ever been to, obviously, because I was so young. But it stuck in me, and it grew like a seed over the years. And when I was older, when I was in my late-ish teens, sort of 17, 18, I started traveling by myself. And I found that travel, particularly by myself, it's, it's kind of my passion to travel alone. It was my instruction manual to the world. It was the way that I learned how the world worked, how the matrix of the, you know, of humanity and nature and um, geography, how it all fitted together. I did that by traveling mostly by myself on buses through Africa, Latin America, the Far East. And Whereas a lot of my friends stayed, you know, in England and they got serious jobs and they joined banks and that sort of thing. I kind of went on crazier and crazier journeys and I made a life for myself writing about those journeys or making films. But in a way, none of that stuff really matters because what matters is the fact that I kind of educated myself through travel. and. I saw levels of life and humanity that no schoolmaster or mistress could ever imagine. No one standing at the blackboard pointing, or the blackboard or pointing to, you know, a, a crusty old page in a, in a, um, in a book. Um, they couldn't imagine the, the depth of um, experience that travel can teach, can impart. So my kids, uh, Ariane and Timur, I tell them, look, I'm so grateful if you study hard. It's, it's, it's wonderful payback to me and I'm really grateful. Please study hard. But I tell them real experience, real education can only be imparted when the ground beneath your feet is moving.